One day the kitten's mother said, Children, I'm going to be very busy, so you can go in and play by yourselves. But be sure you're very good. Don't spoil your neckties, nor lose your mittens. They were having fine games and rolling each other over until were quite out of breath. So they sat down on the wall to rest. They were warm. They were warm, so the three little kittens took off their mittens. When they had done with their play, when a jackdaw sly those mittens did spy, took them all away. What? Stop your mittens? You naughty little kittens. What will your mother say? <coughs> they jumped out of the wall and ran home, quite forgetting all about their mittens. They peeped through the kitchen door and then they saw their joy their mother was making a pie. A mouse pie too, which they loved more than anything else. Good children, said Mrs. Tabby. Now put your tie straight and smooth your mittens. But, but where are your mittens? Then the kittens looked down at their paws and remembered that the mittens were gone. For the three little kittens had lost their mittens. And they began to cry. Oh, mummy dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have lost. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty little kittens. Then you shall have no pie. And she carried it, lovely brown and steaming away. The three little kittens cried bitterly. But Larsa said, Well, it's no use crying. We must now do all we can to find our mittens. Finally they looked on the wall where they'd been sitting and where they only now remembered they had left them. However, they were nowhere to be found. But at last, in a dove deep, they found them, put out for sale by Mr. Jack. Oh, how angry they were. They took old Jack and they beat him. They pulled out his feathers. At last he gave in. And the three little kittens, well, they had found their mittens. And they began to cry. I'm mummy, dear. Look here. See here. Our mittens, we have found. What? Found your mittens? Oh, you little kittens. Then you shall have some pie. <laughs> Mrs. Tabby was highly delighted and purred and rubbed her paws. The pie was a very big one, and they were so hungry that it tasted so good. They felt very happy and comfortable, and they happened to glance at their mittens, and they saw they dropped some gravy on them. They showed them to the mother and father to make them honest little kitties, and always told them that Anything naughty, and did not try to hide it. The three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up the pie. I'm mummy, dear. We greatly fear our mittens we have soiled. What? Soiled your mittens? Oh, you naughty little kittens. And they began to sigh. Meow, 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 meow. Your mittens? You have soiled your naughty little kittens, said Mrs. Tabby. She went and fetched her birch rod and gave him a whipping. The three little kittens, they washed their mittens. How can I try? And hey, mother dear, do you not hear? That we have washed our mittens. What? Wash your mittens? Then you could little kittens, but I smell a rat close by. No, no, no. We smell a rat.